Welcome to this new video on why TD West the running of cumulative total. In this video, we are going to discuss about the difference between Y T D and the running total. Y T D returns the cumulative total of the entire year, while the running total returns the cumulative total from the starting till the end of the given year. So as it is mentioned, Y T D returns a table that contains a column of the dates for the year to be. So this is an example of Y T D where you will be getting the, the cumulative sum of the entire details till the end of the year. Then the next year it will start once again and it will collect the cumulative sum. With respect to Y T D, the running total is totally different. It returns the list of all the dates that are less than or equal to the last date in the current selection. So we will be, we will be giving the last date and from the starting of the day till the end date, it will take the cumulative sum. That's the difference between these two because it is taking the cumulative date from the starting till the end. And the YTD only in with respect to the years, it will take the cumulative sum. The DAX functions for YTD will be having an expression along with the dates YTD, whereas for running, there will be a I will write the running total inside a calculate function with an expression and two filters in it. So this expression returns the list of all the dates that are less than or equal to the last date in the current selection. The filter must be applied to the date column in the date table. So we will see an example of YTD and running total. We have a data set purchase table where we are having the purchase date and the revenue. We'll be seeing YTD and the running total for this revenue with respect to the purchase date. So first initially we will see how the YTD is used. So we can create a new measure. So you can give the name as purchase YTD. You have to write the YTD inside the calculate function, calculate and have to give the expression as sum the revenue which is revenue and you have need to give the date dates by td and give the purchase date so this will automatically take the year end and year beginning and it will take the cumulative sum you can get the visualization you can get the table and you can select the purchase date and we don't need hierarchy we will take the purchase date itself like that and we can get the revenue. So in revenue, we are not we are not able to see anything. Only the revenues it will be it is shown. Now we are going to take the purchase YTD. So in the purchase YTD, we can see just taking the cumulative sum of each and every day and each and every month. See after January, it is taking this continuing to sum up all the values, all the revenue, total revenues, and how it is summing up. It is summing it is summing up the entire revenue till December 2016 and it has summed up everything and it has taken. This is the cumulative sum of 2016. Now from January 2017, it is starting from once year. That is what it is year to date. Now we will see how the running total. So we will create a measure for running total. So we can name it as purchase running or cumulative total equals to we have to write the running total inside the calculate function so calculate sum of revenue now we need to use two filter function first we will use the filter function for the table itself we can take away all the uh, filters from the table so you can do all purchase and the next one is you have to select the date, the date difference from the start till the end. So you can write it as purchase date should be less than or equal to the max of purchase date. So we will check and see how the running total is different from YTD. We will select the purchase running total. Yes, now we got the purchase running total. Here it is doing the same, it is taking the cumulative from the beginning. But when you come to the end of the first year, yeah, the end of the first year, we saw the difference. Here, 31st December 2016, this YTD is stopped. But here, the cumulative or the purchase running total is still going on, is still taking the cumulative to the next year also. It is taking the cumulative till the end of the date, till the end of the date which we are given. That means the maximum date we have given is the max 
the process is until the last date it is taken or to the last given date we can take. So this is the basic difference between YTD where YTD will be taking the cumulative total of a single year while the running total will be taking the cumulative total from the start till the end of the date which we are given. Hope this will help you get new insights into time intelligence functions. Have a great day. Thank you.